Hey, hey YouTube, how are we doing? I am Two Wheels Tommy and I'm back on my bike today uh, with a rare bit of sunshine on the Isle of Wight. <laughs> so I am making the most of it. A uh, bit of a weird ride today, to be honest with you. It's a bit of a two-pronged attack. Um, if you cast your mind back uh, a couple of months ago when I went to uh, Newport to get my uh, my disc lock, I uh, had a bit of a nightmare on Coppins Bridge roundabout and uh, today I am here for redemption because I am going to defeat it. Uh, so uh, I'm going to whiz around the town and uh, get myself set up and uh, yeah we're going to beat it today. And in fact I'm actually going to go all the way around the roundabout just to prove it's not a fluke. <laughs> uh, so I hope I don't balls up today and uh, yeah we'll take it from there. And uh, after that, I'm going on another little mission once we've safely negotiated Coppins Bridge and uh, road ahead closed. Maybe not, oh, it's up there, it's okay. Um, yeah, so that will be exciting and uh, quite interesting from my point of view. And uh, so I hope you find that interesting. We're also heading to East Carrolls. Right, let's do a bit of indicating here. Oh good, kill the indicator. Oh, more road chaos about to ensue. Right, so uh, this is not Coppins roundabout. It is just a roundabout in Newport. So I'm going to go straight on here. Where you going, mate? All good. Yeah, let's get out of it. What are you doing? Right, let's indicate off here so they know where I'm going. Okay, so the next roundabout we get to is Coppins Bridge. I'm going to uh, actually go straight over on Coppins Bridge and up the dual carriageway a little bit because uh, I need to go and find a car park so I can set up my other camera uh, because today you'll be following me. That's a stroke of bad luck. Right, let's get stopped here. So I'm heading in this direction. <clears throat> right, my mission today is to hopefully not stall on this roundabout. Wish me luck. Oh, I hear sirens already. Ambo. Come on, get moving. Ambulance is going that way. So let's get through here. This is not a traffic light here. So we're going to keep going straight on. Keep in the left lane. Because I need to whiz up the dual carriageway. That's it. Stay green. Lovely. Nice outfit. Right. No point pinning it up here. Because I've got to come off in a second. So hopefully I can get through these lights before they change. I'm going. Okay, indicate off. Kill the indicator. Now I need to turn right, so more checks, more indicator ridge. And there's nothing coming, indicator is on. So let's check around there. It's quite a fun little run about that one. Kill the indicator. Indicated left actually. There's another one here. So let's go around here. <laughs> Getting some uh, little roundabout practice in today. Kill that one. Let's watch out for this cyclist. Okay, another left turn here. Cyclist is not coming up the inside. Right, we're good. Right, 
I'm going to keep my indicator on because I'm going in here momentarily to stick another camera on. Right, bear with. Right, so today I've got my Insta360 X3 on this long pole here. It is pointing up in the air, so it shouldn't, uh, it won't get in the way of any other vehicles. Uh, but I have put a nice yellow reflective sticker on there just so people can see it's there. Uh, and this is going to provide a setup that will allow you to follow me on this roundabout. So that's all set up. I'll check it's all straight. Not that it really matters with this camera. So let's get out of here. Make sure that's done up. Make sure these things are all done up tight. All good. Right, let's get back on the bike and defeat Coppins Bridge Roundabout. Oh, I've got a little van there. Come on, mate, out of the way. Let's go. Okay, let's indicate left here. And we're good, so let's get out of here. Heading to the town, this will take me past the police station. If you remember last time, a police car had broken down uh, in one of the lanes, which was causing chaos, which I think uh, I'm gonna use that as an excuse for one of the reasons I got a bit thrown. Uh, it was early days in my riding career, of course. Well, even earlier than it is now. Uh, so uh, hopefully they won't have that today. And aside from that, there was also a car transporter that had T-boned a car on the roundabout, which was adding to the chaos. Uh, so all in all, <laughs> quite an experience. So today, hopefully less uh, eventful. Uh, and that is a green light, so I'm going. There's no one trying to come down the inside. Kill the indicator. Right, keep the uh, be vigil for uh, any pedestrians who fancy just walking out in front or car doors that might swing open in your path it wasn't really in my path was it but I doubt we looked <laughs> interesting building okay so I need to be in the right hand lane here because I am going all the way around the roundabout Okay, first gear, all good to go. I'm gonna indicate because I'm on a roundabout and we're off already, that's good. Hear sirens, so I had a quick check, there was nothing coming. Oh God, more sirens. <laughs> oh, biker crew. Uh, undercover, they're pulling that BMW over. Okay, I'm in the lane for cows now, so this is going to try and spit me out. So I need to be in the lane for ride. So let's get a head start on these guys. Okay, if I had to cows, that would take me up the dual carriageway, but I'm getting in this lane here. And I am heading towards cows. That light turned amber just as I got to it. Okay, all good. Okay, God, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I don't think I've ever got that lucky with uh, stopping. I had to stop once, I think. So I am very pleased that redemption has been achieved, I suppose, is that the word? Anyway. So that's very good, feel good about that now. Because <laughs> it was a mare last time, I was still twice on there, I think. Hideous. Anyway, everyone does it, so there's no point crying about it. Anyway, let's get to um, East Cows. So enjoy the ride.
Right, here we are heading into East Cows. And, uh, oh, the tide's right in. And this is my friend's uh, factory, tea mill. They make t-shirts. So I'm gonna scoot down here. East Cows, these are some lovely houses down here. Wait. Well, this is the seafront in East Cowes and uh, this is where the Red Funnel Ferry goes that'll take you to Southampton. Uh, over the other side of the river there you can see uh, Cowes or West Cowes people call it but uh, it's actually Cowes. They call it West Cowes because this is East Cowes but it's just Cowes and you might be aware of the world famous Cowes Week uh, yachting extravaganza that takes place here. Uh, the weather is normally a bit nicer than this. Uh, to be honest with you today was going to be very sunny with a, a touch of wind uh, but it's misty and <laughs> the wind is more than nothing and it's blooming freezing so I'm not going to stick about here for too long but uh, my next little mission I shall be retracing my steps of my first solo motorbike ride um, which is coming up now for five months so it's been quite a while since I've been riding my bike I mean being honest I haven't had a whole hunt, uh, bunch of rides in that time but um, today I shall be doing that and it will be exciting to sort of for me to see how things are different now that I've got a bit of experience and I kind of know, know what I'm doing uh, so I'll be talking you through that so uh, I'm gonna have a little uh, wander around here for a second and then get on with it please son come out okay here we are this is the little estate here where I uh, picked up my bike just in one of these houses just here um, and I didn't want to sort of go outside the house it's a bit rude isn't it so I'm just starting out on this main road just here on this housing estate and uh, so I'm just going to pull away now there's nothing coming now good so I can remember when I got to this little junction here I was absolutely pooing my underpants um, luckily they did not get soiled but it was touch and go at times <laughs> um, so when I pulled out of that junction I remember coming along here and I was a little bit wobbly and I was like literally thinking to myself don't be any obstructions whatsoever I just want a clear run um, so this would not have been cool um, on that day uh, would not have appreciated that at all now I can remember getting to this corner and thinking I've got to slow down but how do I do it because it had been a few weeks since I'd done my CBT and I'd obviously not ridden in between um, and I had to remember how to do everything and it was such a bizarre feeling and uh, I was like got, probably got to this stage I was like well this is going alright actually and then I'm like oh my god there's a junction so you've got to then think about indicate change gear make sure there's nothing coming is it safe and uh, oh yeah it was not much fun I'll be honest with you but <laughs> We did get there in the end, and uh, the thing about this, obviously I didn't get to choose where I collected it from, because I collected it from the guy's house uh, who you sold it to me. Um, so this was my trip, I didn't have a choice, and I, I looked at all different routes to take that would be the easiest, um, and it is quite a, quite a trek, so I decided that just the most direct route, um, even though it had hill starts and some roundabouts and all that stuff, you know, I'm gonna have to learn how to do it all anyway. So might as well get it out of the way. And um, that is what happened, <sighs> riding along this road. And then there's another bend. So I'm gonna have to slow down here a little bit because I want to make sure I make the bend. And uh, obviously it's very windy, uh, which was not ideal. Uh, <laughs> But by this stage, I, I remember thinking to myself, well, I'm still on it, <laughs> which is good. Oh my God, it's freezing today. Anyway, so the road starts to open up a little bit, which is weird because I've literally been on the bike for about a minute uh, and all of a sudden I'm doing, expected to do 40 miles an hour. Um, oh, a very, very bizarre feeling. But I like this, I liked this bit where there was nothing in my way, uh, no obstructions, 
and then of course we come up to a roundabout so again it's all going through my head i've got to change gear do my maneuver and uh, mirror signal and uh just everything check the gearing is okay and all that kind of stuff and then of course not forgetting to kill the indicator uh my heart would have been racing at this stage now we're just coming into a little place called whippingham here um and there's always speed cameras here so i was always i was really wary that um yeah there might be a speed camera there and i'm not so good with the speed what speed am i doing just by sort of the feel if you know what i mean uh, so constantly checking my speedo check i wasn't going too fast and of course not holding people up but, uh, this is a 40 along here and in my mind it would have been there's a junction there so always scanning to see what's going on is there anyone who might pull out in front of me and cause me a problem um but more on my mind was the fact in a second it turns into a national speed limit and uh oh yeah just uh it was pretty scary i'll be honest with you not many things phase me but uh that was quite a scary moment still 40 down here and then these signs i saw these and, you know I, there's a queue of cars behind me because the ferry comes off here and i'm like right i'm gonna have to speed up because i can't hold people up but i've got to make this bend and i'm going quite fast so uh there's a lot going through your mind just then where should i be in the road oh watch out there's a manhole cover there so i'm watching out for that keep dog on my speed and check that i'm going fast enough and there literally is a million things going through my brain um at that time and then this is like a, a moment of relaxation there's no junctions no anything all i've got to do is keep up with traffic dodge a couple of uh, manhole covers and then make this bend <laughs> but this probably was the scariest part because it's fast and i wasn't wasn't ready really to go that fast uh, but i had no choice and when you come into a 50 zone still pretty quick but more on my mind now that I've slowed down a bit is this massive roundabout coming up uh, yeah wasn't looking forward to this it was right as it happened but uh, so I would have been doing all my checks make sure my indicator is good I certainly wouldn't have been worrying about uh, nodding to other motorcyclists uh, on my first journey I don't think maybe I did actually I can't remember but uh, I remember I had a clear run here pretty similar to this so I didn't have to stop I don't think and I would have been exceptionally happy about that um, <sighs> so unfortunately living on the Isle of Wight it's n there's nowhere flat so there's hills everywhere so deep down and actually at the forefront of my mind would have been the hills and uh, having to do a stop and do a hill start uh, was giving me some anxiety to be honest with you um, because uh, who want, no one likes doing hill starts in your car I know you sort of get used to it and it's easy and you do it without thinking about it but if you had the choice of doing it and not doing it you definitely would choose not to have to do a hill start and the same on a motorbike um, so you can see I'm going up this big hill now luckily you don't get that many obstructions coming up here uh, which was excellent because I'm pretty sure I got a clear run up here and over the crest of the hill um, and inside I would have been doing a little dance to be honest with you okay so once you've got to the top of that hill without having to do a hill start uh, I was exceptionally happy about that but here comes a new set of problems there's lots of junctions and we are entering civilization so uh, lots of things that can uh, happen <laughs> at short notice so by this stage having negotiated that uh, crossing my eyes would have been on these traffic lights and praying that they stayed green uh, because I don't oh that's cool uh, praying that they stay green for me uh, and I might have had to stop here I can't really remember I'm sure there was a bus in front of me 
uh, which uh, would not have been cool but uh, I did manage to negotiate it safely <clears throat> now I know from experience driving down Wooten High Street which is where we are now um, there's always they have like pop-up speed cameras that, that hide in Tesco's car park to catch people whizzing down the hill and up it um, so I was constantly checking my speed though just to see whether I was check I wasn't doing over 30 miles an hour because uh, the last thing I wanted was to get a speeding ticket on my first little ride Okay, this hill goes on a little bit, so always would have been wary that I wasn't go creeping over the speed limit again, even though the speed camera <laughs> um, chance of, well, what am I talking about? Even the chance of the speed camera has gone now because they're up the top of the hill when they're there. But uh, anyway, next my focus was on a hill start coming up because it is a set of traffic lights on a hill. And at this stage, my uh, anus would have been... Um, you know on standby <laughs> uh, because I mean even now I don't really fancy doing a hill start but I know I can do it and uh, you know it's just a couple of little things you do with your hand and foot and that and you're off but um, yeah I wouldn't have been looking forward to this part I know that for sure I did I think have to slow right down because the lights were changing um, but luckily they got to green just before I got there so I don't think I actually had to do a hill start just here Here is the hill in question. So see how we get on today, shall we? <laughs> so it opens up into a 40 just here. So I could have potentially had to go quite quick and then have to stop suddenly and then do a hill start. And uh, we all know the gear issues you can have when you're not, uh, not used to it, fumbling around. So at this stage, I would have been stay green, stay green, stay green stay green <laughs> and the, the relief once you get through it was uh, would have been off the chart um, but we're not out of the uh, hot water just yet because coming up after this 40 zone is uh, another <laughs> is another um, big hill <laughs> where I might have had to do a hill start <laughs> I definitely would have been uh, hoping that I could have done uh, my first ride on a flat uh, flat route but I had to get back to work I had no choice I have to say it feels a lot more comfortable today than it did on that day So I can see up ahead we've got slow moving traffic up this hill uh, which is not filling me delight with, uh, even now but it would have been uh, if I'd seen this on my uh, first solo I would not have been tough and this is due to a cyclist totally beyond my control so I expect what I would have done is just uh, try to um, make just make sure at all costs that I don't have to stop so uh, hang back a little bit as I am now and uh, drop down a gear and uh, just keep my distance and hope that uh, I don't get held up too much and have to stop. Did you have any hill start disasters on your uh, first solo ride? If you did, let me know in the comments. So today I'm not going to have to stop on this hill, I don't think. Because it's all moving. My bike is struggling a little bit in second gear with my big bum. But we're almost at the uh, crest of the hill here. And that would have been another sigh of relief. 
moments before a mini roundabout. It would have been easy for me at this stage just to nip off to the right because that's where my house is uh, and it's much closer to here than my unit is but that's not where I needed to get to so uh, straight on it was luckily today nothing coming all good on these like sections here when I know I'm just gonna have to keep going straight on there was just a uh, just relief was like immense and uh, this was for me would have been like a little bit of a relaxation on the ride because there's not too much for me to take in uh, as long as the traffic's moving uh, there's no no red lights no one about to jump out in front of me thank you um all is good but as i approach this stage i've got another mini roundabout on a hill coming up so uh sphincter getting ready again coming today so all good I'm pretty sure I encountered a little bit of traffic when I got to this section just here uh, it's always crawling here because there's you know it's island roads we're dealing with so uh, constantly 8,000 roads closed um, so the, the, the traffic is normally crawling along here because there's always one of the roads off of uh, these traffic lights that's closed and I'm no doubt there will be today By now I'm coming into Ride, which is sort of the next place to where my unit is. So uh, all the time in my mind I'm checking off uh, sort of like little sectors <laughs> that I've completed and uh, probably started feeling a bit smug when I got to this stage. So I remember turning off left here into the town. Oh, and there is a road closed. Is it the one I need to go down? Let's uh, suss that out. Road closed. There's a green light on the light I need to go down. So, uh, all good. So that was another little sector ticked off. And now we're coming into like the town zone, um, which again, I wasn't looking forward to. Uh, not because there's hills or anything like that, just a lot of traffic. Uh, around you and there's a big hill you have to go down uh, called Union Street in Ride with cars parked it's a one-way street but there's cars parked on both sides of the road so when you're going down it even in a car you really have to have your wits about you because people pull out uh, left right and center in front of you I remember having a stop here briefly just a, a little opportunity to regain my thoughts and figure out what I need to uh, do a little bit in advance I'm gonna bear left just here now all the way down to the seafront it's quite steep here so constantly keeping an eye on my speed because it's easy to let uh, I mean, I rode my, my push bike. I rode my push bike down here last night, and uh, it, the speed just gets. If you let go of the brakes, it, you just uh, you're off <laughs> uh, like a whip. It so constant check of speed. There's normally vehicles about, so you don't get much chance to go that fast. But uh, I remember keeping an eye on that, and then I got to get around this bend. Is there going to be any cars stopped around here that are pulling into a parking space? As I approached the town just there, I remember having to stop and crawl along in a little bit of traffic, probably from about here. And uh, 
I didn't really enjoy that to be honest with you because it's a lot of clutch control and braking and uh, all these things which my mind was not used to uh, doing uh, quickly in quick succession so uh, that wasn't much fun but this is Union Street where you really have to have your wits about you car doors swinging open pedestrians nipping out in front of you it's a hive of activity down here actually in ride just as, a, as an aside we have an excellent scooter rally um, all the Vespers and Lambrettas all gather here hundreds thousands of them all the way around the seafront down here one weekend in July I think it is and when I lived here before I used to absolutely hate the things because they're smelly slow and um, they would just get in your way and when they're doing one of their ride outs if you wanted to cross the road constantly uh, constant flow of them so you had no chance of crossing the road but uh, actually I really enjoyed visiting them last year okay this is the Esplanade now again lots of new traffic lights which have been put in since I uh, left the island last time so it's all sort of a new road layout for me but this would have been a nice open stretch for me without too much worries got a roundabout here but it's not really a roundabout well it is but it's got like junctions on it and weird stuff like that and I can just go straight on so this would have been a moment of calm for me until my next challenge East Hill Road <laughs> yeah as the name suggests it is a hill up a road and I would not have wanted to stop on that because it's probably going to be the steepest part of this uh, this ride. But by this stage, I'm starting to think this uh, will be over soon because we're not too far now. So I'm hoping I'll be able to do the exact route I did on that day um, if there's not too many road closures. Just round this bend the corner starts. Okay, my mission would have been to get to the top of this without stopping. Wait. There is a little pinch point up here. You see that car parked right at the top there? It always causes problems. You can get literally get two cars passed uh, on that crossing there, but uh, no one seems to manage it. So I'm hoping this road is going to be open today. Diversion is sending me... Oh, that road is closed. That's not going to bother me. Okay, so at this stage, you've got to turn right at around about... Again, I wouldn't have really wanted to stop here if I could help it. I'm pretty sure I saw my mother-in-law um, whilst I was on, coming around that corner just there. They live very close by. So, oh, all right, mate. Coming down this little section here, um, again, quite an easy bit because I've got it's all flat, really. 
um, but the road is in such a terrible state <laughs> you just uh, have to constantly be scanning for the next crevice that you might fall into and as we approached these ra these uh, traffic lights I remember I had to stop here and I was talking to the camera and there was someone walking alongside the thing and they kept looking at me funny and I remember being really embarrassed about that <laughs> smell model engine fuel right these are the lights I had to stop at but that's no drama because it's just straight on no hill Quite a nice day for a ride today. Sun is making an appearance. So my next focus of attention would have been probably the roundabout I've got coming up ahead, the Tesco's roundabout. And then we're back into, a, it's not quite national speed limit, but it's another fast uh, B road, which I was not particularly looking forward to. Um, I don't know, just going fast felt funny. I'm getting used to it now, of course, but uh, when you've got to think about what your hands are doing and your feet when you need to do things, it was quite a uh, butt, -cl butt clenching uh, ride. Tesco's roundabout. I remember saying this has got a blind hedge, so you can't see whether there's anything coming until you're on it. And today we're good, so let's get out of here. I'll give a little indicator just here, because there's two lanes. Okay. At this stage, thinking to myself, hold on tight, because I'm going to be going faster. Those 50 signs, pretty scary for a new rider. Much more comfortable today, of course. We've got a nasty uh, crossroads just here always uh, have people nipping out at the last minute like this car here thanks mate so that would have uh, not been cool on my, on my first ride would not have appreciated that at all what a wally so by this stage I've only got to turn left and that's my last big road really until I get back so I probably would have been starting to uh, brim about now I feel particularly pleased with myself still feels a bit weird actually traveling at 50 60 miles an hour but uh, now I've got like the right trousers with all the uh, all the armour and stuff that you need so I've got the right gear now really rather than just a pair of jeans okay and I'm turning left just here oh a little breather regain my thoughts <laughs> Okay, and this is basically the home run, so I would have been very pleased to be on this bit of road. Still thinking about my gears back then, and which, which gear I should be in, and how fast I'm going, all that kind of stuff. 
Um, so if you're watching this thinking, oh my gosh, that does seem a bit scary. It does all fall into place and you just do things without thinking about it really. But all in all, this road is quite an easy road. There's no junctions really. And it's pretty straightforward, but at the end of it, we've got a steep hill going into St. Helens, um, which I would not have been looking forward to. And having it about probably I think it's about 250 miles uh, on my bike under my belt now um, it all feels much nicer than it did on that day so by this stage I mean I wouldn't have been going this fast I would probably would have been crawling up towards 40 miles an hour um, particularly if there's nothing behind me but uh, now my thoughts would have been turning to this hill um, there's often cars parked on the curb or in the road halfway up it so it creates a bit of a chicane um, and I think I might have had to slow right down coming up here actually but today it's clear um, and as we go into a 30 zone almost almost there I remember when I came around this corner actually, I nearly sort of overshot a little bit for some reason. And at this stage now, I've negotiated the hill without having to stop. That was my main thing, having to stop on a hill, excuse me, and do a hill start filled me with dread. Um, more road closure chaos here. But by this stage, I'm like, I'm almost there, almost, almost back. So it would have been one of my last little checks and then pull into this little road and down towards my garage. I won't be going down that way today because I'm going uh, using a different entrance today. But come this stage, the amount of, uh, I don't know, just um, feeling of being exceptionally pleased with myself and also like really scared at the same time. Um, you know, and you know, that feeling doesn't go after the first ride. It does stick around for a little bit uh, on a few rides. Even now I have little moments when I think, oh, you know, uh, what have I got to do here? Um, but most of it, 80% of it is just I uh, don't even think about it now, like changing gear and uh, going through the gears, coming up to a junction and all that kind of stuff. It's just, uh, it all comes to you, but it takes time and the more you can get out and do a little practice, the better. And here we are back. I would have been feeling exceptionally happy about being back um, on that day. <laughs> as I am now, because my bum's are in. Right, let's turn this off. Right, well, that was an interesting ride for me. Um, yeah, a lot of emotions came back to me that I forgot I'd had uh, on that ride, actually. Um, you know, it was quite a turmoil for my brain, that first uh, motorcycle ride I did back from East Cows to uh, the other side of the ride, St Helens, where I am now. Um, but, uh, you know, thankfully it was much more comfortable today uh, now that I've got much more of an idea of what I'm doing. But uh, it was really helpful for me actually to go and redo that um, because it made me realise how much I have actually come on. Um, I beat myself up a little bit because I don't get a chance to ride as much as I'd like to. Um, I, I find myself a lot of the time thinking I've got to sort of relearn how to do things when in actual fact I don't because a lot of it now is second nature um, and it oh, totally wasn't on that first ride uh, back in I think October last year. Um, so yeah, 
you know, on that day, I was very, very relieved to get back in one piece. Um, but today, it was just another bike ride, uh, and I, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So if you've got this far into your journey, um, and you're, or even you're thinking about doing your CBT, and you've watched my previous solo video, and then this one, uh, just so you know, it is thoroughly enjoyable. So stick at it, because uh, it's wicked fun. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think of the camera angle going around Coppins Bridge. Um, it's a little bit different that one, isn't it? But uh, yeah, I'm really pleased that I managed to get around Coppins Bridge again in one piece today because that was a nightmare last time. And today, all good. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I think it's down there. Um, it might be down there or wherever. It's somewhere. It's free. So make sure you do it. And if you haven't already, leave a comment below and uh, let me know what you've been up to on your bike and whatnot. And also, don't forget to like the video because YouTube like it when you like my videos. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.